Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and it's time for a build guide for Eluya and probably answering some questions whether whether she has lifesteal or not. So that is one thing that we are going one thing that we are going to address. Also, um, the type of build that you should go for, and uh, we're gonna be going over her stats first, guys. Which stats should you prioritize? Number one would be. Bonus attack speed, definitely, because uh, of her basic attack. She has a quick uh, jab to her attack. So, bonus attack speed, AD would be good. HP, a little bit, would be good. Would be good because uh, we'll talk about HP and her play later, her ideal play. They're both related in a way. Then, critical rate is um, very good, very nice. Also, physical life steal is very nice, and also bonus attack damage. Again, these stats are. I'm not saying that you should add everything if possible, yes, but it's actually possible to add a lot of buffs uh, this way. So, more or less, those are just your priorities. Moving on to. Okay, so for her place, I am recommending. Just to start her off a bit, if you don't have any, you know, any plays available, it would be Karota, basic three star for AD increased by thirty two, increased damage dealt by basic attack by twenty percent, which is perfect for her, uh, perfect as a beginner play. Next up would be King King. So King King is if you want her to be more, you know survivable if if you don't have lifesteal definitely you should you should let her bring and uh, equip this or increase healing received by 10 percent upon taking damage with re restores hp by two percent max per second this effect lasts for five seconds and can be triggered at most one time per 15 seconds this is just if you don't have life lifesteal the other one let's go to th these are my two recommended plays actually they belong in the five star. You have Su Xuan. So two piece set increase M res uh, resistance by fifteen. This one is also if you don't have life steal, increase healing received by ten upon receiving healing. The next three basic attack speed is increased by ten, and each of the next three basic attack will grant the character. The character three ultimate energy the ultimate energy recharge effect can be triggered at most once per second so this is actually a must the other must is going to be display mikey this is actually for her this should be worn by her so uh unyielding is increased by 10 percent unyielding the character deals increased damage based on their missing hp Max damage scaling caps at 20% uh, increase physical damage by 25% against targets below 50. Max HP increase 40% if equipped character is Umbra, which is actually her. So again, in relation to the HP stat, the bigger HP stat she gets, the more she can maximize this. That is actually just my point. So again, the four plays that are recommended from her is Karota for three king king for four star sushuan susan i'm not sure what, what, what it's pronounced so please help me guys is uh, also a recommended one if you don't have mikey but mikey is going to be her main play so um you know if you have other plays in mind please put them down in the comments so that we can discuss Okay, so now we go to skill priority. Okay, so first skill to prioritize is definitely her basic attack. This is how she really, really deals um, consistent damage, fast and consistent damage. Next up is going to be her active skill, either of the two. This one at number four. Sorry, not, not number four, but four energy is going to make her dash at the back, uh, targeting low HP, lowest HP um, hero. 
while this one is going to make her um, attack uh, what they call this in you know in the front line more or less this is not made to make her dash at the back this is just to have a few multiple attacks but also still prioritizes the enemy with the lowest HP healing received reduced by 20 this effect lasts by for 10 seconds so again uh, for fate sued this is for your opportunity to go to the back to dash to the back and take care of the squishy uh, your characters for number five this is more of maximizing your damage on the front line characters that are in front of her so it's really up to you for me priority for me for the attack for the active uh, attack it would be four because um if you face her off with formidable hoplites and guardians sometimes she can't handle it while when she goes through them she goes to the back she has more success in taking out the back line so preference is still going to be fate suit the the other you know the secondary preference is quick snip so fate suit for active also the the next priority is going to be your ultimate this also adds dash to the target uh, dash to the target and makes a series of quick snips inflicting three dark mark um so dark mark is apply one random debuff okay let me just you know have you focus on this for a while if you notice there is no mention of lifesteal but but Please be patient with me. I'll show you something. This was out on... Where is it? Okay. So this was an update. These were uh, buffs or series of optimizations that they did. Some of them per character. This is before launch. They optimized basically the characters that they were going to release. And if you can see here, I'm just going to highlight this gonna highlight this on top that is Eluya, guys ultimate besides its original effect ethereal show when it lasts will give Eluya 30 percent of physical lifesteal but why is it it not shown in the ultimate text okay that that is my point because players have been asking me where is Eluya's lifesteal where is Eluya's lifesteal they should have updated this already now, if there is really life steal, but sometimes I don't feel that she has life steal um, during her ultimate. So again, they should include this the the thirty percent life steal because players are already confused if she has life steal or not. Based on this one, based on this update, uh, this optimization or this buff, she has. So please, developers, please make sure that this is indicated in the text of the game so that players won't be you know won't be confused uh i myself was actually confused and was you know i was recalling where did i see lifesteal i can't see lifesteal her kit and players have been asking me how to build her i told them lifesteal but i can't seem to find lifesteal anymore so again it's in their update they should indicate it here if it's still here but otherwise, if it's not here, I will assume that they actually took it out. So that is actually my assumption. Unless if it's still there, they should they should put it in the Ethereal show. Okay, so that is my point. So again, if this has lifesteal, based on the text now, it doesn't have one. But based on the optimization, it has. So devs, please clear that out because players are asking me how to build her with lifesteal. Primarily, it's going to be in the ethereal show. Okay, so that that is where you build her with life steal if it still exists. Okay, so going back to skill priority, we're still in skill priority. So again, basic attack is the priority. This one. Next up is active. Next up is the ultimate, and the last one is going to be the passive, which is tied to a debuff. Okay, although she gives debuff, but it's not her main function really. It's more of lifesteal, dealing quick damage, and killing lots of squishier characters than her. So again, we'll go through lifesteal later. So 
So you're gonna go back to um, to details because the plays are here. So again, if the players are asking me how to build her with life steal, the ultimate is one. If life steal is still there, the other one that you know you can build uh, her with ultimate is actually this one, the the con the conceptions. So so far, I've checked out. Um, all of the stats given of all the conceptions, the um, the fixed stat doesn't have you know doesn't have life steal. It's in the random stats that you're gonna be rolling for life steal. So at this point, I cannot really help you guys. Um, you just have to roll for life steal on your own. Please make sure that um, I'm gonna try to roll for life steal. Uh, I'll actually announce it on which of the of the, of the conceptions is life steal indicated, so that you won't have a hard time. But life steal is going to be available in the random stat for your conception. So there it is. You build life steal through the adapt for your place through the conceptions, or you use the ultimate, which supposedly indicates a a life steal skill. Okay, so. Again, hope the devs correct that. So where were we? So we're done with stats. We're done with recommended plays, including where to, how to build her with life steal, and skill priority. will are already done. Um, the last one would be awaken priority. So again, for each copy you get of her, you get to awaken phases. First phase is going to be bonus skill damage. Next is bonus speed damage. Or physical damage. Phase 3 is Fate Soothe because I'm using Fate Soothe. So deals 30% more damage on targets below 50 HP. So this is tied to her skill. The other one, Quick Snip, this is going to be tied. So choose appropriately which you are using and which skill are you using. At Phase 4, this is more for unyielding. So again, if you have Lifesteal, so upon entering battle, increase physical Lifesteal by 15%. Again... It should be, there should be lifesteal in her ultimate or in her conception. So if you're prioritizing lifesteal, then click this. If you're prioritizing and yielding, then you click on this. Okay, next up is five, increase physical damage. And this one is increased armor penetration. Um... I would say armor penetration because this ignores part of the defense, if I'm not mistaken. So this would be an easier damage for you rather than physical damage, especially if what you're... Uh, but if you're dealing with squishy characters, then you go with the physical damage. If you're dealing with more harder, um, harder to kill uh, characters, then go for the uh, armor penetration. For phase six, basically this, these are tied to ethereal show. I would go with the, the first one. Um, target ceiling received will be reduced by 50%. This one is tied to a debuff, which I don't think you can use, but I don't think it's important. This one would really, you know, um, further enhance um, her killing abilities, I, I think. So more or less that is it so if you're asking me who she works well with um number one she has to have somebody in front with her an hoplite or a guardian to take away the attention from her then what works well for her are buffs really buffs for attack speed buffs for damage um also, if you could build her with a really good lifesteal build, a uh, lifesteal, yeah, lifesteal build, then you're set to go. Um, I don't think she has a specific team that she's, she can be, as long as you make sure that she's not the focus of attention in terms of damage, she'll be good. If she has lifesteal, even better. Um, also, if she has, a, she has, she can receive more healing if she doesn't have a lifesteal set, better yet as well. So, that is it guys hope you were able to get something out of this in terms of how to build the luya had a lot of questions 
um, because people find her squishy. She is really hard to build. You'll have to be more patient with her. You have to take more time in building her. But again, if you build her right, the rewards are very, very good. So again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.